dead on dead on. In the name of the Father, and of the, Holy, and, the, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent here the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you will honor the Holy One, you will honor the Lord, you will honor the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Dear brethren, we have now begun our Pentecost vigil after the example of the apostles and disciples who with Mary, the mother of Jesus, persevered in prayer, awaiting the spirit promised by the Lord. Like then, let us listen to with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how many great deeds God in times past did for his people. And let us pray that the Holy Spirit whom the Father sent as the first fruits for those who believe may bring perfection to work in, in, the, in this world. A reading from the book of Genesis. The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the sky. 
and so make a name for ourselves, otherwise we shall be scattered all, all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. Then the Lord said, If now while they, were, they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us go down there and confuse their language so that one will not understand what the other says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it is called Babel, because the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your church may always remain that holy people, formed as one by the unity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which manifests to the world the sacrament of your holiness and unity, and leads it to the perfection of your charity, through Christ our Lord. The responsorial psalm, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord. In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Creatures all look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you look upon, when you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to the dust, to their dust. When you send forth the, your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the earth. Lord send, out, Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the fr first fruits of the spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we, we will wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what, the intention, what is the intention of the Spirit because he intercedes for the holy ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, let anyone, who th let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the spirit that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no spirit yet because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It was 20 years ago when they had the opportunity, 
the summer of 2000, the year 2000, to attend the World Youth Day in Rome for the, millenni the millennial, millennial year. During that trip to Rome, I remember being on the bus one day and I saw a group of young men by appearance and definitely by the flag they were holding, I could tell they were Germans. And the idea occurred to me that had this, had I been in Rome uh, 60 years before, those young men would be dressed in soldiers' uniforms, uniforms of the Third Reich, the Nazis. But here they were to participate in a grand assembly of prayer of young people. Later on in the vigil uh, during World Youth Day, Pope John Paul II, Pope St. Saint, Saint John Paul II, uh, spoke about the fact that in the century just passed, young people ha had been gathered to um, be stirred up in hate and really aimed for war. He was speaking about his own youth and the things that he saw when he was in Poland growing up happening in Germany. And it occurred to me at that moment, uh, his whole motive for beginning World Youth Day, which of course has continued under Pope Benedict and Pope Francis, it was really uh, to reverse the things that he saw happening on the evil side in his youth and to bring young people together to pray. And when all the young people are gathered, of course, they were not from one race or nationality pointed against another. They were from every part of the world, every race and tongue. In other words, World Youth Day reflected and does reflect uh, the reality of Pentecost. Because Pentecost, the presence of the Holy Spirit, was able to unite people uh, by the uh, witness of the apostles. We see in the first reading about the story of the, power, the Tower of Babel how the uh, reality of sin and rebellion against God divides people and divided people from the beginning. Their languages were confused when they tried to rebel directly against God by constructing this tower, challenging him in a sense, uh, and they became divided as different peoples. But we know the day of Pentecost when the apostles preached, they could be understood in whatever language people spoke because of the gift of the power of the Holy Spirit, the miracle of the tongues. That's an important obviously essential feature of the feast we celebrate today. And it reminds us um, uh, where to focus our hearts. In the gospel, Jesus says, let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. Rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the spirit. So, if we're united with other people, if we're able to um, have community, it can only come about through the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, we, we know that uh, God answers prayers as he sees best for us, so not all our prayers are answered in the exact way we want them to. But really, our Lord gives us a guarantee that we receive the Holy Spirit if we ask for him ask for, for his presence. That's the kind of prayer that really can't be denied. And that's the prayer that is kind of, well, it is uh, enjoined on us today uh, to pray for the gift of the Holy Spirit. In the second reading, St. Paul says that for in hope we were saved, now hope that sees is not hope. But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit, too, comes to the aid of our weakness. We receive the Holy Spirit in the sacraments, baptism, confirmation. We ask for his outpouring, especially today, this Feast of Pentecost. 
but we know sometimes we don't, uh, you know, sometimes there are obvious manifestations of his presence, as there were on the day of Pentecost. Sometimes no. We, as St. Paul is telling us, have to go through the struggles of life. But we can do so, strengthened by the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The real importance, um, you know, of, or the sign of the presence of the Holy Spirit is the acting out of the virtues, faith, hope, charity, and all the other uh, gifts and uh, uh, all the other gifts of the Holy Spirit and fruits of the Holy Spirit. That when those are present in a person's life, uh, that's where the Holy Spirit is present. I have often thought, and I'm sure it's true, that when you see some kind of retreat or a spiritual event going on, and people lining up for confession, that's a pretty infall infallible um, showing, manifestation of the presence of the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit wants to bring about that change of heart continually in us all through the course of a lifetime. So we pre celebrate Pentecost again today, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And we remember the contrast between the divisions among people, some, some of them we see so manifestly uh, in these last few days, and the only one who can unite people together, the Holy Spirit. So we pray for an outpouring of, of the Holy Spirit upon our church, and in particular time, and this particular time, our nation, that the Lord may heal hearts and bring together people of all races and languages and tongues. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For our holy church, so may the Lord bless her and protect her from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For police officers, corrections officers, and all who work in law enforcement, may God grant them wisdom and prudence in carrying out their duties with justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer from chronic or long-term illness and those who live with disability, May God provide them comfort and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For we who are gathered today, may the grace of the Holy Spirit pour into our lives so that we can follow Jesus more fully. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God grant them a peaceful passage from this life to the next. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the repose of the soul of Rosa Ramirez, Rosa Ramirez, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing the needs we have brought before you today. Answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this word of mine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, whom we to share in humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may, be accept may we be accepted by our Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord of God. Wash me, Lord, for my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Pour out upon us these gifts, pour out upon these gifts the blessing of your spirit, we pray, O Lord so that through them your church may be imbued with such love that the truth of your saving mystery may shine forth for the whole world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those who made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to, to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth to prof in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <laughs> to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. 
that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which you offer, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all those who are holding to the, to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal, living, the eternal God living and true. In communion with, with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, uh, and all your saints, we ask, this, we ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Celebrating the most sacred day of Pentecost, on which the Holy Spirit appeared to the apostles in tongues of fire, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus, and Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. <clears throat> Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O oh God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this, this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven, at Christ your Son, our, of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a sense of kindly countenance, with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, 
and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be, be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your, altar on high, to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the, the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember Lord, remember, Lord, your servants and all who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who are those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share in fellowship share and fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, and weighing our, and not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all, all good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, Bless them and, 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 best, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, how to be thy name, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace is the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us, receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of, of your body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold, it takes, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Save your eternal life. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke of the marvels of God. Hallelujah.
Lord has passed us a full Lord, may we possess some purity of heart, that by us we can give us a time of healing for eternity. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to the Virgin for protection. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participated in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You, Our Lady of New York, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cain of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we are put to the test, and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace we have, you have given, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force so that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits, who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.